glaucoma and it's left untreated, it's very likely that you will experience vision loss and eventual blindness. Fortunately, there are treatments for glaucoma. Your ophthalmologist will monitor your condition and will recommend the best treatment option for you. Sometimes glaucoma can be treated successfully with medications that help to lower the pressure in the eye. In some cases, laser and other surgical procedures may be recommended to help lower the pressure in the eye and prevent further vision loss. Both medications and surgery are designed to do one of two things. One, decrease the amount of fluid production in the eye from the cells that make the fluid, or two, help the fluid flow out of the eye. If your doctor has recommended surgery, you should take as much time as you wish to ask your doctor questions about the procedure. Just remember, as with any surgical procedure, you should have your questions answered before agreeing to have the surgery. Now, let's discuss some of the important things you should understand about laser surgery for glaucoma. Laser iridotomy is a type of laser surgery for people who have or who may develop narrow angle glaucoma. A laser is used to make a small hole in the iris, the colored part of the eye. This hole should restore normal flow of fluid within the eye and reduce the eye pressure. This is equally important if you're having an acute narrow angle glaucoma attack or if you're at risk for having such an attack. Laser iridotomy is usually performed in your ophthalmologist's office or an outpatient surgery center. The procedure usually takes about five to 10 minutes. Anesthetic drops are placed in your eye first. The laser machine looks similar to the examination microscope that your ophthalmologist uses to look at your eyes in each office visit. You'll experience a flash of light with each laser application. Most people are comfortable and do not experience any significant pain during the surgery, though some may feel a little pressure in their eye during the laser procedure. Most people will need to have their pressure checked after the laser treatment, since there is a risk of eye pressure increasing after the procedure. If this does occur, you may require medications to lower the pressure, which will be administered in the office. Rarely, the pressure in the eye elevates to a very high level and does not come down. If this happens, you may require surgery in the operating room to lower the pressure. Most people notice some blurring of their vision after the laser treatment. This typically clears within a few hours. The chance of your vision being permanently affected from this laser procedure is very small. You may need to use drops after the laser to help the eye heal correctly. You'll probably use the new drops for about one week. Risks associated with laser iridotomy may include increased pressure in the eye, possibly requiring medication or surgery to lower it, inflammation in the eye, cataract formation, bleeding, light streaks, scar formation between the iris and lens of the eye that prevents the pupil from moving correctly, damage to the cornea or retina from the laser light, and need for repeat laser surgery to reopen the hole in the iris. Although it's impossible for your doctor to inform you of every potential complication that may occur with surgery for glaucoma, he or she will aim to answer all your questions to your satisfaction. Also, it's important to remember that all of the procedures for glaucoma are preventative. That is, the goal is to try to maintain as much of your vision as possible for as long as possible. While some people may experience side effects from medications or surgery, the risks associated with these side effects should always be balanced with the greater risk of leaving glaucoma untreated and losing your vision.